to talk about the Hallel Psalms. They are Psalms 113 through 118. They are called festival songs. In the Brit Hadashah, we see that Yeshua went out to pray many times. He went to quiet places and he went to pray. And so the, one of the questions that I have and ask is, okay, what did Yeshua pray when he went off with his disciples or by himself? We know that he taught them the disciples' prayer or the Lord's prayer. And then we have Mark uh, 14, 26. that tells us that after the Seder meal, Yeshua sang the Hallel Psalms. Now the KJV says a hymn. But in the Jewish understanding is brought out in the TLV, the Tree of Life, and other Jewish Bibles, as we see the statement in a, is in a modern siddur, this statement that I'm going to read is from a modern siddur. And so we know that they were done during the, the festival times. So they are some of the earliest prayers written to be recited in the temple on the day of national celebration. They were sung as accompaniment to the Pesach sacrifice, and early rabbinic sources suggest that they were said on the pilgrim festivals, Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. So it's Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacles. And so we are going to sing a song, and we're going to sing a Hallel song. So this is Psalm 118, verse 19. Open up for me the gates of righteousness. And an interesting about these psalms is that we see a bunch of songs within a songs. And you're probably going to hear me repeat that. students at the end there we see ya o de ya that means give thanks to ya and so here we see the poetic form we see the yod and the he which uh, only appears in its poetic form and should uh, only be used so in so we're going to start out with psalm 113 and this is the first of the hallel now here on the slide i have a link and this is a link to uh, modern uh, worship 
uh, Messianic congregation in Israel. It's only, it's, it's all Hebrew, but if you were to check out this link on YouTube, you could check out a very beautiful, uh, upbeat song of this psalm that is very, uh, is very uplifting. And I'm not sure. One of the things within so the Hallel Psalms it's just me and my mom. is that the Tetragrammaton, or the yod heh or Hallelujah, appears um, most often in, in, than any of the other psalms. And we're going to try to look at all those a little by little as we go along. And so as we just looked at Pitru uh, Tzedek, or opened up the gates of righteousness, we saw the one, Odeya, as I pointed out. And we'll see others. So here in the first verse of Psalm 113, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Abde Adonai, Hallelujah, Shem Adonai. Okay, so praise uh, the Lord, Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of Adonai, praise the name of Adonai. So here with this, in this first verse, we see Hallelujah, we see praise the yod heh vav -Heh, and we see the yod heh vav -Heh. So the yod heh vav -Heh is here twice, and the poetic name Yah is here once. So three times in one verse, he is named, and it says the name. And in one of the teachings that we gave a couple weeks ago, I talked about Shem. I talked about the character of a name and what the name describes and what it means and all, the, all those things. And so here it is in the first verse. Yehishem Adonai, Meva'ata va'ad olam. Blessed be the name of Adonai, now and forever. And here again, we have the Tetragrammaton, the yod heh in the in the second verse, and the word Shem again. Mi Mizrach Shem esh ad mevo'o meholal Shem Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the name of Adonai is to be praised. Hallelujah. Here again, we have the name Shem, and we have the yod heh vav -Heh, the Tetragrammaton, again. Ram al kol goyim Adonai al hashamayim kevodo. Adonai is high above all the nations. His glory is above the heavens. Hallelujah. Here again. He's above the nations. Be surprised in this day and age. Mi Adonai Eloheinu hamag lashevet. Who is like Adonai our God, enthroned on high? And again, here we have uh, Eloheinu, our God, and Adonai. So we have two names for God in, the, in this verse. Eloheinu and then Adonai. So we use Adonai and another thing that other uh, uh, sects of Judaism would say Hashem and then in the Ashkenazi it would be Adonai I think or something like that Hamash Pililirot Vashamayim Uva'aretz who brings himself down to look upon the heavens and the earth Hallelujah He raises the poor from the dust and he lifts up the needy out of the dunghill. To seat him with princes, with the princes of his people. Moshi vi akeret habayit im habanaim samecha. Hallelujah. He settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. Now, as I was, I was meditating on this today, I just want to intercede and pray for the behalf of, of the lonely and the barren. Um, I just think of uh, my sister, but my sister has many children because she's a, a teacher of songs 
Well, she has no physical children, but she has so many uh, spiritual children uh, because she teaches them how to praise Yeshua, and that is a great thing. And another thing, too, is that, you know, the Father God has so much more for us yet waiting for us, so much more that he is going to fill in our lives. And uh, there are many things in our lives that we are seriously waiting for and waiting for and we cry out and we cry out and we wonder how long, how long, O oh Lord. And then other things he simply gives us, but then other things we, we have to wait for and there's just loneliness and there's this longing and there's waiting and, and it's like we, Yeshua makes himself so real to us when we're in that place. That he is our husband that he is our strength and he is our shield and he guides us and leads us through this time. 